Hey everyone, it's Christina Sundhornbot, author of Diary of an Ice Princess, and welcome back. We're starting with chapter four in the second book in the series, Frost Friends Forever. So if you wanna catch up with us, you can go back and watch the first video that has chapters one through three, and then you can come right back here once again, I am in my lovely bedroom recording studio where it's nice and quiet in my house. And we'll get started with chapter four. So Lena is gonna have this sleepover. She's so excited, first, ex first sleepover at her own house. And this chapter is called Preparing for Perfection. Now, if you've read any of the other um, Diary of an Ice Princess books, you know that one of Lena's character traits is that she's kind of hard on herself. She's kind of a perfectionist and she tries to do everything right. And so, of course, she wants to have the perfect sleepover, right? Okay, so this is Saturday, three nights. That's how long Claudia is going to stay with us while her parents drive her brother to college three whole amazing nights. Can you imagine if your best friend got to come sleep over at your house for three nights? Like how awesome would that be? Dad is bringing her up in the plane later this evening. Lena's dad is a pilot, which means I have just a few hours to get everything ready for the perfect sleepover. She has a list, perfect sleepover must-haves, extra blanket and pillow, check, flashlight and book of spooky stories, check, buttered popcorn, check, pepperoni pizza, check, Paper cups and very berry syrup, check. Claudia loves snow cones. And with my ice powers, I'm like a snow cone factory. I begged mom to get a trampoline, but of course she said no. Instead, I'm planning to use my powers to make a big drift of snow on the terrace so we can have snowball fights. I'm excited, but a little nervous too. Sleepovers at Claudia's house are always so awesome. I want everything to be just as perfect here at our house. If everything goes according to plan, Claudia will have so much fun, she will never want to go home. But hold on a second, diary. I smell something. It smells like boiled root vegetables. This is Claudia smelling something. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That can mean only one thing. Great Aunt Eastia is here. Okay, Great Aunt Eastia. So you might know that Lena's great-grandfather is the North Wind and her great-aunts are the South Wind and the East Wind and her great-uncle is the West Wind. So great on Eastia, you can bet she is the East Wind. So Lena is not too excited about having her at her house. Let's see why. This chapter is called An Unexpected Guest. Oh, diary, I just got back from talking to mom downstairs. As soon as I smelled the vegetables, I raced to her office and shut the door quietly behind me. Mom, what is great Aunt Eastia doing here? I whispered. I told you before, mom said. She's staying with us for a few weeks. She did not tell me that. Okay, maybe she did and I forgot, but that's beside the point. Mom, she can't stay here. She's going to ruin my perfect sleepover. Mom's eyebrows pinched together, which meant that she was feeling very disappointed in me. Lena, I am very disappointed in you. That is a selfish thing to say. You know how much Aunt Eastia loves you. I know that great Aunt Eastia loves me, and I love her too, I really do. She tells wonderful stories, and she taught me how to play, play the piano, but she is also old and strict, and she is always telling me to act more like a princess. Look, this is Lena's mom being very disappointed in her. Great Aunt Eastia grew up in a different time when princesses were supposed to be, well, princess-like. But I can't argue with her about it because that would be rude. And princesses are never rude to their elders. These are a list of Great Aunt Eastia's princess don'ts, things you can't do when you're a princess. Princesses don't slouch. Princesses don't chew gum. Princesses don't roll on the ground with their dogs. Princesses don't freeze the stair railing so they can slide all the way down. I, I have a feeling that those are all things that Lena likes to do. Mom patted my arm. It's going to be fine, sweetie. You won't even notice she's here. Just be respectful. Of course, Mom. And mind your manners. Of course, Mom. And remember, no winter magic while she's here. What? The cold makes her joints hurt, Mom said. We're going to keep things as comfortable as possible while she's our guest. 
Great Aunt Eastia is a wind tamer, just like my mom and granddad. But now that she's older, she hates the cold and almost always wears a thick coat, even inside. So she brings like the warm east wind, which I guess the east wind is warm. <laughs> and so she doesn't like the cold, right? Which is exactly what Lena had plans to do. Well, there went my plans for snow cones and ice sculpture competitions with Claudia. Just then there was a tap at the door and great aunt Eastia came in. I bowed to her and then she hugged me tight. My favorite great niece, she said. I heard you were doing so well in school. I'm very proud of you. But Lena, what have I told you? Stand up straight. And when was the last time you brushed your hair? Don't forget you are a princess. She looks like. Oh, diary, I would love to forget it for just once in my life, but no one will let me. Oh, yep. Not the perfect addition to a sleepover, I think, is a strict great aunt. Okay, chapter six. This is called Turnip Troubles. I waited in the front hall of the palace for ages, checking and rechecking to see when Claudia would arrive. Finally, I heard the zoom of Dad's plane. She was here. Gusty and I threw open the front doors and Claudia bounded across the clouds to me. We were so excited that we did our super secret best friend dance twice. This cloud castle is unbelievable, said Claudia looking around. Miss Collier said that clouds are just made out of dust and water droplets. And magic, I said. I mean, our clouds are made of magic. Otherwise, we'd all be dropping out of the sky right now. Mom gave Claudia a big hug. We're so glad you're here. Lena, why don't you take Claudia up to your room and help her settle in? I led the way upstairs to my bedroom. I don't know why, diary, but I felt nervous. I've never had a friend visit my room before today. At least I had cleaned it up, which means I shoved everything under my bed and into my closet. Here's Lena's mom giving Claudia a hug as she walks in. And here is Lena's bedroom. That's what it looks like. So she has a bed with a canopy over it, which I always wanted a bed with a canopy when I was a kid. And that's for late night talking, not sleeping. They're not going to do sleeping. A desk for doing winter break homework. This is Gusty's basket and a trunk for stashing snow, snow cone supplies. I showed Claudia the paper cups and the syrup. These are for later. Her eyes lit up. Very berry. Now this is the best sleepover ever. We celebrated by jumping on the bed. I was feeling great until we went down to dinner. I smelled food. I did not smell double pepperoni. Dad, I whispered, where's the pizza? Honey, we can have pizza another night. Great Aunt Eastia wanted to make dinner tonight. My great aunt came into the dining room followed by waiters carrying big steaming soup bowls. I made your favorite, Lena, she said, my special winter stew. I usually like it fine, but it is definitely not pizza. I watched Claudia nervously. Okay, this is great on Eastia's winter stew recipe. Purple turnips, white turnips, pink turnips, pork bones, and more turnips. It's actually, I know that sounds like not that appetizing, but I promise you it's really actually very good. Uh, Claudia leaned over her bowl and took a slow sip. Mmm, that's very delicious, Miss Eastia. Great Aunt Eastia beamed. Thank you, my dear. Lena, I like your friend already. And do you see the way she holds her spoon? No splashing. Perhaps you could learn something from her. I sat up super straight and sipped my soup with no splashes. Okay, maybe just a couple splashes, small ones. Gusty got his own bowl of stew. At least someone in the room made a bigger mess than I did. All right, so Lena's sleepover, not going perfectly. Nothing going according to her plan, which I know is stressing her out because I know Princess Lena. So we'll have to see what happens next and you, so you can watch the next video and I'll read some more chapters from there.